morning, call the Yellow Jackets. We're your WCSS News Anchors. I'm Grayson. And I'm Spencer. Today is Monday, September 26, 2011. For today's lunch menu choices are choice of one, hot dog or corn dog, choice of two, french fries, breaded okra, and baked beans. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the PBS Teachers of the Week are Mr. Schubert and Ms. Blanco. The Swarm T-shirt registration has been extended to Wednesday, Conley Yellow Jackets. Register now, Yellow Jackets. And a happy birthday to Miss Dillbeck in after school. Happy birthday. SSYRA is back, Yellow Jackets. Check the black display in the media center for this year's books. Remember, third, third fourth, fourth, and fifth, fifth graders. graders read 10 books by the end of the year, and you get to come to the ice cream party. Read three books, and you get to vote for your favorite book. Check out this trailer with one of this year's books. It's called The Flight of the Phoenix. Tears sting my eyes, vomit in my throat. I am in a downward spiral. Life is quickly turning from tragic to terrifying. Yesterday, on September 5th, 1928, my parents were declared lost at sea. The crash of the airship Italia are they really lost? There was no time to ask. Suddenly I was on a train speeding away to my only living relative, my Aunt Phil, who I now sit behind. She's the daredevil flying this plane, a world adventurer and a beastologist, which I just learned is a study of rare and exotic beasts. I thought these to be mythical creatures, imaginary or at least extinct, but I was wrong. And that is why I now hang on for dear life. Apparently our destination is Arabia, off to assist the world's only surviving phoenix. What's that in, Phil? Here for danger? It's terrifying, my new life, but terrifyingly exciting too. I, Nathaniel Flood, could also be a world explorer and histologist. That is, if I survive Aunt Phil's crash landing, Find out what adventures await Nathaniel Flood by reading author R.L. Lefevre's novel, Flight of the Phoenix. Now let's take it to Taylor with today's WCSS Sports Center. Welcome to today's edition of WCSS Sports Center. I'm Taylor. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta. I may have underestimated the Bucs. It turns out they could have gotten themselves together enough to be a serious competitor. That's all for today's edition of WCSS Sports Center. Let's take it back to the studio with Grayson and Spencer. Thanks, Taylor. And with the WCSS Daily Weather Report, here's Ariana. Currently, to Currently today is cloudy with the low of 74 and a high of 91 and 30% chance of rain. The 2 p.m. a few isolated thunderstorms are possible. Part, it's partly cloudy with temperatures warming into the upper into the mid upper 80s. Winds are blowing from the east to the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The sun and the clouds are mixed are mixed and a stray afternoon thunderstorm may be possible. A feeling is not a post tropical cyclone is getting closer and closer. 
The winds have surely gotten low, lower at 35 miles per hour. <clears throat> the new takeover of a tropical storm, Felipe, has winds blowing at the rate of 60 miles per hour, and it's moving northwest at 13 miles per hour. Now back to our anchors. And now for All of Us About Math with Emily and Lily. Thanks, guys. I'm Emily. And I'm Lily. Today's math problem is for K through second grade. Emily, the problem? The problem is the sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. It rained for two hours and 45 minutes on Tuesday. Then it rained one hour and 20 minutes the next day. So we sat in the house all those cold, cold, wet days. How many hours did it rain both days? Remember to put your name and your teacher's name with your answer. That's all for today. Now back to our anchors. And now for this day in history. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, September 26, 1775, Jonathan Chapman was born in Massachusetts. He came to be known as Johnny Appleseed because he planted small orchards and individual apple trees across the wilderness and prairie in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Kentucky, Illinois, and Indiana. He's buried in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Also, on this day in 1956, the first new concrete road service was paved as part of the U.S. interstate highway system. It was an 8-mile, that's a 12-kilometer, two-lane section of U.S. 40 just west of Topeka, Kansas. This stretch of highway became part of Interstate 70 that travels from the East Coast to the West Coast. Today, about 46,860 76 miles, which is 75,423 kilometers of highway, are included in the interstate highway system. And on this day in 1960, the first televised debate between presidential candidates took place in Chicago as Republican Richard M. Nixon and Democrat John F. Kennedy faced each other. They call me Ellie Jackets. Remember our motto, make the most of every minute. And, and we'll, we'll see you <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs>